people. We are back to continue the Proving Ground series because we have a new tune. And I'm not going to lie, I don't have a perfect solution for this new one. I've, I've, I've got a solution, but it's not the best. So let's go on in here. We'll knock out the others and then we'll discuss my solution for getting Malchus Shorts. We'll see you there. Oh, and we are back. And let's jump on in. There's Malgus right there, the one I've been waiting for for so long. Alright, uh, let's see. What squad would work good? Uh, damn if I don't know. To be honest, I am not sure who would work good here. Like, I believe I used Maul last time. Like, my Mando squad. Uh, I don't think Treya can do it or the Jedi. Padme, I guess? Mm. The hell with it, I'll throw cat. And Tano. I could do 3PO, but... Nah. I'd rather just... Go ahead and go with both the Sokas. Because that one was there. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, they beating on us. Let me go ahead and give her some she in. Alright, come on, Padme. Alright, we're gonna hit them hard. And then heal them up. Damn, I missed. That damn, goddamn, that's 30 stacks. Payal, one dead, and another dead. Nope, not quite. Don't care. Uh, well, there goes Bosk. Imbo. That one dropped, and oh, that one dropped. So Padme squad, Cat didn't even really do much. So, I mean, you could probably just come in there with Padme, like the OG Padme squad with 3PO. Where are we at? 237. That ain't, that ain't terrible. I don't know if that's at before or after. Let's see. That's after. Okay. Now, TIE Interceptor. I remember doing the video because I found out... Oh, yeah, now I remember who it was. Because this is the only squad I think I could get to win on this. Though I don't think I got three star. But it was the only thing I could get that would actually win. So we just hit him with that. Ooh. Leave my homie alone. Oh my god. Oh, come on. Leave him alone. Damn! Jesus! Like, how are they dying? Annihilate? And annihilate that bitch. Not quite. Ooh, no bueno. Yep, no bueno. I think that was just bad RNG. I'm not gonna lie. Ooh. Jesus. 
Yeah, come on. I was hoping I would have got a turn and came back. But I think that was a bad RNG, so let me try that again, because I believe that's the squad that I used to beat this. Because I had access to Annihilate, and Annihilate takes out the third sister. I just gotta catch it just right. Oh, there he goes. Jesus. There goes Vader. I mean, how did I... Shit. I, I thought it was bad RNG, but it might not be. Jesus Christ, that's a lot of damn debuffs. Let me go ahead and beat him up. And... We'll annihilate that hoe first. Now, suck the juice from him. I think now that I annihilated the Inquisitor, I should be okay. Jesus! Sorry, there goes Wood. Oh! What? Yeah, I'm getting bad RNG or something. I know you're probably like, just hurry it up and show us about Malgus. Well, I really do want to get this, but I can't remember any other squad that I used to beat it. I thought I beat it with this. But they're kind of just decimating my whole freaking squad. Okay. Attacking out of turn this many damn times is horse shit. Yeah, see? Alright. Well, I mean, shit. I can't remember anyone else that I used to beat this. So. Let's try the mandos just in case if not then i'm just gonna skip it and go to the next video or the next one because this is getting to be horse shit i mean i kind of knocked that shit out like it won't nothing the first time and now i can't do shit on it okay wow Okay, yep, the hell with that. Like, if y'all want to see how to beat that, go to my previous video, because the hell with it. Like, I, I cannot get it to work right. My RNG's not good. So, but we got Boba Fett knocked out. Three. That won't nothing. And this is the one you came to see. Is Malgus. Like, I'm not going to lie to you. I have theory crafted all day long on this shit. And there's only one solution I came up with that's not a GL. And that's Padme. But, unfortunately, I feel like it needs to be full on Relic 7 all the way across the board. And I've been using, like, I've been mixing it up. It, it's been like, if it ain't been regular Tano, it's been gas, but everybody else has been the same. And I've just been mixing it up back and forth. But this battle is insanely hard compared to the Grand Inquisitors because it's like Malgus is super beat and they keep hitting with fear so much the only thing I found that can counter that is whenever they hit halfway JKA gets 100% turn meter and then Padme gets the 100% turn meter then I can heal and that gets a bunch of uh, stacks of 
uh, courage. And then I just wait until they knock him down to damn half health. And that's when I get another batch of turn meter. And then boom, one down. And this is where it gets fucky. Cause see, if you do it wrong and the, and it lines up wrong where you, you take someone down and then you're about to get death marked, then you lose cause like now I'm death marked and they're gonna just obliterate my entire squad. because after this you can't really get rid of the death bar it just stays on your side of the field the whole time and even like everybody else can get death marked but Malgus is so super beefed up strong that you can't take him out like don't matter how you do it but Padme seems to be the right direction to go. You just got to put beastly mods on it. And just utilize this, like I said. See, look. Uh, JK got the turn meter, but he was under fear. So he lost his turn. Padme got her turn. I heal. And then I just wait for it to happen again and rinse and repeat. got to kind of balance like between getting the death mark people and knocking them out and pretty much avoiding getting death mark on your tunes there we go unfortunately it's like the more of them you kill the Stronger fucking Malgus gets constantly. Like, see, now that he's got Death Mark, like, you ain't gonna fuck with him. And, like, that that's that. I mean, it it's hard, but that's the only counter I have found outside of GLs. And even then, I still cannot prove it to you. So, anyone that does have a GL, then I will show you how to beat it with Master Kenobi. Because that's my motherfucking homie right there. <clears throat> I basically come at it with my Grand Arena squad. Or not Grand Arita, but Squad Arita. And this is the only way I have found out how to beat this. Because it don't matter what you do, Malchus is just so hellaciously fucking beefy. Like, I don't know of anything else you can do because he's just that beefy. So... Alright, I'm going to save it because I can't redirect it to Malgus yet. So, I do that. Now, I guess I'll take out Revan first. Alright, damn. Alright, there goes Revan. Malgus is death marked. So, now. Get a little bit of more beef. And that's the only way I found to kill Malgus. Now, if y'all got a Treya squad that's beefed up, and y'all can get Annihilate before they kill you, then, fuck bro, more power to you. But I, I can't get four sleep off without having Master Kenobi because he's got that thing that refreshes the entire cooldown. That one ability. But, I mean, this right here is just, this is how you get a three star with Master Kenobi. You just use Cat to go ahead 
and annihilate them. And the rest of them, I mean, like, they're, they're like regular strength. They ain't outrageously strong or nothing. Which is freaking insane. Like, you actually damage them when you hit them. I mean, you hit Malgus like that, and he just laughs at you. So, I don't know. But, that's the end right there, and that's a three-star run, buddy. So, I mean, that's how you get the Malgus shards. And, if you want to see the TIE Interceptor battle get beat... You're probably going to have to go to my previous video. Because for some reason I can't get RNG to work out in my favor for some reason. I don't know why. But, I mean, like, before, it worked out perfect. Like, first try. I, I wasted them. So, I don't know what's going on with this shit. Right, suck it, suck the life out of him. Ooh, there he went. And we'll go ahead and get rid of third sister. The hell with it. Now see, that's horseshit. That is freaking horseshit. So yeah, I can't get my RNG to work out right, but I know that's how I beat it before. So, like, I apologize for not being able to give you what I've been giving you with all the rest of them. Like, I hate it, but I just don't have it. Like, I don't know of anyone else, I mean, besides Nihilus and his Annihilate, Cat and the Four Sleep, and I don't even think Rexalate would work if you could somehow pop it off. I, I do not think it would work, because that's based off of how many turns, and, like, you, you'd have to be going at it for a while, and it's hard to last that long. So, I mean, if y'all got some ideas, like, y'all want to chip in... Drop them in the comments. I'm sure some other folks would be appreciative, especially people that don't have Master Kenobi and Cat. But, I mean, I'm sorry. That's the best I can do for y'all. So, till next time, we out. I love you. Thank you for your time. I apologize if I wasted it this time around, but, I mean, hell, this is the hardest fight. I mean, I know y'all have seen it. Y'all realize this because Malgus, it don't matter what you do. He just does not take damage. I I think I was using Padme and I feel like I just beat the hell out of him until he had no protection and he just came back and one-shotted the whole team. Just pow. That, that was it. Game over. So, I don't know. But, till next time, people. We out. Peace.